How was it, bro? You got a filling? Very, very good. <laughs> can you talk? Yeah. Which, which side of the mouth was it on? This side? Can you feel yeah. that? Can you feel that? Hello and good morning everyone. We are here today, day two of school. I woke up Ryler telling him, day two of junior high, you have all new classes again today. That is something very different for junior high. Like another day one. Another day one. Things are going well, kids were up and getting out of bed super easy. I'm sure that won't continue, but it'd be awesome if it did. We are putting them to bed very early every night as much as they don't like going to bed early. I'm grateful they're getting the rest. They were very tired yesterday after the first day of school. It just kind of wipes you out from being a little bit more lazy in summer to really go going all in, doing a bunch of stuff during school, playing at recess, talking to friends. It's a lot. Emotionally and socially exhausting. It's like you're exerting energy just by interacting with people all day, I feel like. And so they slept great. They, they went down sleep early. Awesome. They slept all the way until right when they, we wanted to wake up this morning. They got dressed. They're down here having breakfast. It's awesome. What are you excited for? Day two of school. Yes! Woohoo! You look handsome with that white shirt on. Kids uniforms, they can wear red, white, or blue tops, tan or navy bottoms. And yesterday, Crew and Brexton decided to wear red shirts, tan bottoms. They're not target workers today. Brexy is oh a blueberry. God. Today, Brex is actually a blueberry. He's wearing blue on top, blue on bottom. Same with Hazel. She's wearing a blue dress today. It's fun for them to try out all their new school clothes, get to wear them all, wear all the different combinations. I'm excited to see what Ragga comes down in because yes, you wear those different high. colors. When he came down in gray yesterday. It totally threw me off. I'm kind I know, of it's for weird. green. We'll see. I bet he wears green today. This morning as we were having breakfast breaking into some of the food of the school year mom is taking down notes of things that we're going to need in an upcoming Sam's or Costco we're thinking Sam's this time we did I Costco last Sam's. time tell you why Sam's has cliff tarts that's why oh, you just took my line <laughs> oh dang it sorry I, was gonna say, I bet you won't know the number one requested item at Sam's Club cliff tarts, cliff tarts. <laughs> so the kids do want pop tarts from Sam's Club so we are putting together a list of things school lunch items morning breakfast things after school snacks all the school things for a Sam's Club haul upcoming probably this week, you guys. So Ooh, make your list, throw down some stuff. So I think you and I could go. Yeah, the kids are at school. Let's take a nice leisurely trip to Sam's Club, load up the grocery cart. We are living the high life while these kids are off studying, becoming smarter. Yeah. Are you excited for today, dude? Yep. I think you guys really like day one. I think day two is going to be pretty epic. I think I see what I think I see. <laughs> It's green! Ah! <laughs> Seeing green, baby. You might notice the kids are all loading up in jackets today. I was like, guys, it's gonna be 90 today. They say it's pretty chilly in the school because they keep that AC really? pumping, I guess. So they want to have a little jacket. It's cold in the school, not outside. Yeah, not outside. But I will say this, guys, it's currently, I mean, it's gonna be pretty warm today. The next two days, major temperature drop. It's supposed to be thunderstorms, and it's gonna be like highs in the 60s. That's different. Then it bounces back to normal summer. We've also gotten that. warnings for flash floods. Not good, not good, not but. Good. We'll just stay in the school because it's gonna be raining. Yeah. We're gonna get out on jackets and we can play outside. Hazy girl, do you have oh, a couple more recesses? I can do it indoor recesses. <laughs> oh, you can. The rag I do. Today is day two of junior high, but mom was just saying before you came down here, in a lot of ways, kind of like a day one, right? Because it's yeah. all new classes. Everything's new today. Yeah. So do you feel like you know what your classes are? Yeah, I have my A day more down than my B days. And this is A day, even though yesterday was the first day they started on a B day. Yeah, because we have to stick with the school day. District. Oh, so they're starting today. So they're gonna have an A day. Oh, that's right. So the rest of the school district started on Tuesday. So that's why you went B to A. Interesting, interesting. Well, love the green shirt. Love you flexing those junior high colors. And uh, good luck today. Hope you go to all the right classes. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Crew, excellent jacket choice, dude. Is that an accidental perfect match to your backpack, Broski? Really, but yeah, it is. Black and white vans. Vans. And black and white is a perfect match. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> the normal schedule mom taking the kids to school i pick them up just on our normal routine here sure no fun. fanfare on this drop off just kick them out and send them on their way my right, guy's still primping what's he doing he's grabbing his water bottle love you guys infinity bye love you <laughs> put the kids off at school they're at school guys as i was dropping hazy off she was like ah! <laughs> guys, so did you put intense. that on our Instagram? You gotta check that out, guys. At this is how we become on our Instagram. I heard mom posting it and I just heard this. Love you! 
I was like, what that? Hazel? So intense, yeah. <laughs> today, Braxton's gonna walk her to her class, and after school, he's gonna pick her up, take her to carpool. Should be seamless today. It's a lot when you're a brand new first grader. She's just this cute little six year old navigating the halls of a school on your own, and you get your number called and you get picked up for carpool. You need a brother's help. So yeah. I'm very grateful that so Braxton can do that. The last time, Crew and Brex both went and got her. Amazing brothers helping her out. Clearly, she's doing fine. If you saw her Instagram, she is ready she's to rock. Good. Speaking of being ready to rock, we have found some additional free time here on our hands in the morning. So, mom is gonna go get her hair done. Something that normally she'd have to leave the family go get taken well, care of. I actually had an appointment for last week. It was like the two days before, last two days before of summer basically. Yeah. And I decided we'd rather put this off till when the kids are in school. So rescheduled. have a little me time. Doing it right now, getting her hair done. I think you're gonna go grab some lunch with Stephanie maybe. Yep, so we're gonna go to lunch and we're gonna go to Target. That's what we do basically the first or second day of every school year. Mom's in Target. So I can't make any promises and I'm gonna come back empty handed. <laughs> we are I just hope go. you come back at all. That's all I really would like to see happen. So mom's gonna go take care of that. I'm gonna be editing the vlog to post for you guys. Then we will see you when you get back here. And I, I think know, it'll be brand new. About the time the kids are getting out of school. I'm gonna shop till I drop today. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Kids are about to walk through the door. I stopped and got them a treat when I was out on my little shopping rendezvous with Stephanie. And so I'm excited for them to walk in. I'm sure they don't need treats, especially because Ryler is headed off to the dentist today. He has to get a cavity filled. Oh, by the way, guys, my hair, it's all dark pretty. Okay, here's the kids. Hello, Who's Kirby. Right Kirby's got oh, a hurry and change. Wait, guys. Hi, we gotta get to the dentist. We gotta get guys, to the dentist. Gotta go. I got you a treat. Hey. I picked you all up a treat. Why is it this? Where's Braxton? Did you in leave the him car at school? Still? No, oh. it's in the car. Kirby, these are for you. Thank you. Uh, for the ladies. Oh this is because I know you love Kinder Joy. Thank you. Thank and if you Braxton all. ever gets out of the car, these are he for him. He doesn't even realize he's got a treat coming for him right now. Okay, Guys, what have you said about what's coming up next? So I don't uh, repeat just you. that Ryler has a dentist appointment, but we haven't told him about crew, but I gotta get Ryler too. Okay, so Ryler, you gotta go to the dentist, you gotta fill in, take care of Go brush crush really that. fast. I will tell everybody what's going on with Crew We Do. Crew has gotta throw on some cleats, socks, what do you call these things? Shin guards, uh, leg protectors. <laughs> Gotta put all that stuff on. Change your clothes really quick because he has got to go to a second round of soccer tryouts Ooh. and it starts in 10 minutes, bro. So we have got to hustle right after school. But guys, we didn't talk about this when he first tried out. I've tried out for teams. I've made some, I've not made some. There's a lot of pressure just on yourself individually as you go to try out for a school team. And we didn't want to add the additional pressure of a million people waiting to find out if he made it or not. I just didn't want to add any extra pressure on crew. Crew though, he thrives under pressure. He's good under pressure. He's like, I don't care. You can tell everybody. It's fine with me. Here's what happened, you guys. Crew actually made first cuts. Crew actually went to tryouts last week, made first cuts. He's a sixth grader. Did I mention this is the ninth grade team? He's trying out for the junior high ninth grade team. He's going back for callbacks. This is the second round of tryouts today. So they cut about half the squad from the first round. Half is going back today for the final tryouts, I believe. And then he'll find out if he made the team, dude. I'm I cannot excited. believe you, bro. Freaking sixth grader making it to callbacks on the ninth grade junior high team. We can talk about that in a little bit right now. Got to finish getting dressed. Let's get you over there to try. Let's go. Get that filling taken care of, get that cavity fixed, and uh, you know, I love you, you're a freaking right. stud. See ya. Sheesh! I don't care if nobody does it, I'm doing it. See ya, bro. Cavity filled. Hey dude, if you make the team, you gotta switch that from a 10 to a 12, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. KB 12. Love you, love you. Crush it, dude, love you, love you, love you, love you. See ya, bro. See ya after, I'll come pick you up. I had to pull off out of the way here before we got too far up the road. Just say what an absolute stud crew is. We told you guys, he tried out first round of tryouts was last week. I just didn't want to add any extra pressure on him. He could not have cared less. He's like, no, you should. I don't care. It's fine either way. It's going to be great. And I got to say, whether he makes the team or not, I am just so proud of him for trying out. I'm just so proud of him for putting forth the effort for showing up as a sixth grader, going up against seventh, eighth, and ninth graders for a spot on the junior high team, having not played or kicked a soccer ball in probably two years, you guys. He doesn't play soccer. It's not his sport. He's just so naturally athletic. Anything that he wants to do or puts his mind to or even just tries once, he's very good at. That's just how Crew is. It's the way he's built. Everyone comes different to this world. Our other kids have other talents and skills and abilities. But Crew specifically has been blessed with the ability to play sports. Coordination is very athletic. To make that first round, I told him that's already a win, dude. If this is as far as you got, it's amazing that as a sixth grader, you made it to callbacks. You're on the second round of tryouts before they finalize the team. That should give you a huge boost of confidence going into whatever you do next. And then the next 
next year, if you come back and you try out again, you can be like, I've already done this. I've already been through that first round of trials. I know what it's like. I know what to expect. So incredibly proud of crew for putting forth the effort, for trying out in the first place, for having the desire to even go for it because that can be tough sometimes. That can be intimidating. And then on top of that, all of that pressure that you put on yourself, that you feel from others around you, he's like, yeah, why don't you tell the million plus members of the This Is How We Bingham family that it's going down today. They can cheer me on. It will be epic. Win or lose, make it or not, we know everybody's got his back. Huge thumbs up for our crew be due and going out there, putting it on the line. And I tell you, if he makes the team, we are going to request number 12 so KB12 can live on. And if it's not this, it'll be something else. Crew's just a savage. He can do whatever he wants. Quickly, back to the house. Rye guy getting his cavity filled. And then we will come back, pick up crew, hear how it went. Won't find out today whether or not he made the team, but I do think that they will make that decision very shortly. I don't think that we will have to wait long. It may even be this week. We're back home now doing a little after school snack. Now, Hazy had signed up for a yogurt parfait today at lunch. She was so excited. She told me all about it last night. She's like, oh dad, it has granola and fruit and yogurt. But then when she got up to get it, there's only two left. So she let her friend have the last one. She had a sandwich, huh? Well, she technically took it. Oh, <laughs> nice if you do not stop her then, I guess. So we decided for our after school snack, we'll make our own yogurt parfait. So we're throwing a yogurt in a bowl. Ah, we're partying kind of hard though. We'll throw some granola in the bowl, mix it up. Let's see, oh, I gave you a lot. Let's see if we have any fruit. If we have any fruit, we'll cut up fruit. Oh, we have bananas. Do you want to chop up some bananas in there? Maybe. Maybe? Okay, so Brexit, you made one. I think I want one too. I'm gonna have one with you guys. A little yogurt parfait. So Hazy, look. See, you shared with your friend and you still got to have yogurt parfait. And you said you kind of liked your sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. I loved it. Okay. <laughs> Rye guy back from the, not orthodontist, because you don't have braces anymore, the dentist. How was it, bro? You got a filling? Where we're going. <laughs> Can you talk? Yeah. Which, which side of the mouth is it on this side? Can you feel yeah. that? Can you feel that? <laughs> no, he was actually super nervous because he had to get a shot in the roof of his mouth. Oh, so those are the he was worst. asking the girl, he's like, where are the shots? I'm really nervous. I don't like the ones on the top of the mouth. Side of the mouth, blah, blah, blah. and I says, Ryder, it's just better if you just don't ask questions. Just let them just do what they let need it to happen. Do. And then you're like, oh, yeah, that's the one in the roof of my mouth. Oh, oh that's the it's worst not bad, kind. He can still talk. Mom, stop everything. You just turned your head. Look at your hair. Oh my gosh, I immediately really? noticed. The I second you walked, like, in, I noticed if you're yeah, following on our ago. Instagram, you'll realize I did not notice and I'm trying to make up for it in the vlog. But Brexit it looks fantastic. Brexit is the only one that noticed. <laughs> it looks really good. So mom got her, oh, it's different. Thank you, Raga. Right here, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It's a little bit blacker. It's like a gotcha. darker it's brown, browner. Brownish. It's a brownerish brown, but I think it looks fantastic. Oh my gosh, I can't even believe it. That is so September. <laughs> Okay, anyways, your feeling's good. You're August. feeling good. And crew needs to be picked up. Let's go get crew, see how his trials went. I am so pumped. Win, lose, draw, make the team or not. That dude's Where stud. is today gone? <laughs> What up, son? What up? How was it? It was good. Was it pretty good? Oh, yeah. Well, bro, how'd you do? Probably the best I've ever played. <laughs> yes, 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 oh, yes. Yeah. You don't even know how stoked I am to hear that, bro. It doesn't even matter what the results I'm are. So... I just wanted you to feel like you played awesome, dude. Hot. Uh, okay, let's get the AC going. All right, dude, so now we've got a chance to talk on the drive home. He laid it down for me. You said, dude, it went about as good as it could have possibly gone. Oh, yes. Even more than that, one of the things that I loved. <laughs> is that he said it was a great experience. Everyone was nice. The ninth graders were inclusive. He's a little bit sweaty because he's been running hard. Yep. <laughs> but he said that everyone was just so cool. He's like, I just feel like they're like cool friends. Right. But I was like, crew, I'm a little nervous because at first I thought this would be a fun experience for you. But now I'm worried you might actually make the team. Like, are you ready to maybe make the team? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he is. So he finds out tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow's the day. Literally yeah. tomorrow. It will be posted on a door right next to his class. He just has to go out and see if his name's there. And bro, I've said it a hundred times. I'm going to school with you tomorrow. If you, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> If you make it or don't make it, we are proud of you for trying, dude. A sixth grader, there's only three sixth graders left at this point. He said there's three, including him. So two others besides him in the tryouts. You are in the final, final round. Find out tomorrow. Come back for that, guys. That's a big one. I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> but we love our crew no matter what and just proud of you for trying, dude. You're incredible. Thank you. I'm going to take off right now. I'm going to go ahead to see a movie with Adam. We're going to go see Free Guy. It's been a while since we've seen a movie and we are super stoked because this one has got some seriously great reviews. It's supposed to be hilarious. So I'm stoked for that. Going to leave you guys here with mom and the kids as they wind down day two of school, getting ready for bed and getting ready to find out in the morning if his crew made that soccer team. So proud of him. But for now, I gotta pick up Adam. We're off to the movies.
Dad's gone. I got the kids to bed. Took them a while to fall asleep. We had a wild rain, thunder, lightning storm going on. It's still raining. It's very windy. Kids are in bed. Drew came out one time and he says, Mom, I'm just having the hardest time falling asleep. Said, I know, buddy. I'm so sorry. It's very windy where we live. And right now it is just blowing like crazy. Rainy. Hoping to go on a run in the morning. So hopefully that happens. Big day for the kids. Big day for crew. So I'm so anxious for tomorrow. I told him, I says, I'm going to walk you into school and I'm going to just see what that paper says. So either I can hug him if he didn't make the team or I can celebrate with him if he did make the team. I'm very nervous, very excited. Can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. Make sure to come back. Gonna be a great day. Third day of school. The kids have early out tomorrow, which is something that is entirely new this year. So they get out early on Wednesday. That'll be fun. It'll be a little bit of bonus time with our kids. I'm really excited about it. So thanks for hanging out with us. Love you guys so much. See you all tomorrow. Bye everyone. That is so September. <laughs> okay. Anyway, you're feeling good. You're feeling good.